This is an expired meter. This means there's a good score here. Doesn't mean you can't get a ticket. Three minutes off, and they come and get me. You What's your nice. name? Carmen. Carmen, what's your last name? Lokasha. Your name appears on my ticket a lot. I'm just a student. I make I understand $8 that. an hour. When, I, when your meter's blinking zeros, I have to write the ticket. No, you don't. You got to feel our pain. I have to write the ticket. I have no choice. I got Fair you. enough. Just don't Fair get the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Have a nice day, now. Carmen. Take Carmen, care. you have a great day. Have a great Thank day. you. You too. And they're both cute, too. <laughs> cute, but I'm happily married. <laughs> we need more peace in this world today. We really do. So you know what? I can't get I'm mad at her. She's or. just doing her job. You know what I mean? That's a he. He, yeah. That's what I'm sorry. I get that all the time. Maybe if I took my hat off and people saw my hair, they realized I wasn't a woman. I guess because I'm small, they assume I'm a woman. But my wife would tell you I'm all man. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> you know. A lot of people downsize Carmen because Carmen is short. Hey, I'm not following you, am I? They won't like step on him because he's short. No, you don't do that. Don't take advantage of him. No. That's just a meter ticket. He's got a job to do, and he's gonna do it. The meter's blinking zeros, and so it's a twenty-six dollar ticket. Hey, I'm sorry, sir. I already wrote the ticket. I can't take it back. Come on, man. This this is ridiculous, man. Once I hit print, I cannot take it back. What do you mean you can't take it back? <laughs> Once this ticket starts to print out, I cannot take it back. Man. See, that's what I'm saying. It's all a game. That's not a game to me. That's what I get paid for. I thought in the rules that if you catch a water right you take it. Once that ticket prints out, I cannot take it back. If you had hit stop me before I hit print, I would have given you rescission. If you want to fight the ticket, you can call the number on the back of the ticket. Fight the ticket what? That's up to you. Well, I'm going to win. <laughs> you know? I'm going to win. I'm just trying to tell you. When I tell him I got there the same time you was writing the ticket, oh, but he hit print. So he couldn't take it back. You saw the ticket printing out on my computer. So what? There's got to be a way you can take it back. No, sir. You can't take it back once the ticket prints. If you want me, I'll get my supervisor for you. What are you going to tell me? The same thing you tell me, right? More than likely, yeah. It's all a racket, oh, man. Sorry about that, sir. Ain't no sorry. You don't care? No, I do care. No, I you don't. That's where you're wrong. I do care. If you would have gotten there before I hit print, I would have gave you rescission. Simple. Dang, it's all a racket, man. The only time I get angry is when people just won't listen. You know, it's like I'm lying. <laughs> Parking authority don't care. I'm telling you, doesn't pay to work in the city. Whatever I said, he didn't want to hear it. I try to explain to you why you received the ticket. If you can't understand that, I'm sorry. He's the enforcer. I see you all the time, man. You're looking good, baby. <laughs> this vehicle is parked on a handicap ramp or a crosswalk. When you're blocking a handicap ramp, somebody who's got a wheelchair or a walker can't get by. He's terrific. I'm in a wheelchair. And there's a lot of people that take advantage of the handicapped parking spots. It's like people who block the crosswalks, the handicap ramps, too. People with wheelchairs and walkers can't get by. A lot of times, I have to jump off of a curb with yep. my chair because I can't go down the curb on the uh, corner. That's actually a ticket I do like, right? Oh, yeah. I thank you for everything you do. You know what I mean? I appreciate that. Thank you. People seem to forget there are a lot of handicapped people, not only in this city, but in the world. That's your opinion. You know, people think maybe because I'm small, they can take advantage of me, but wrong. <laughs> you know, I'm out here representing the city of Philadelphia. I'm just going to do my job to the best of my ability. That's all I can do. I'm, I'm getting out here. All right, I'm going to call across the street, all right? See you later, Ken. Have a good day, Tice. All right, bro. I'm small. That's the way my father was small. My father was the toughest guy you'd ever see, so it doesn't bother me. Is that your truck, sir? A lot of streets, you'll see a lot of construction. As long as they're not trying to take advantage of me, now I'm going to give them a courtesy. Hey, guys, I need you to please move this vehicle. You're parking in no parking any time. Where am I supposed to park my truck with the tools? Sir, you know, I can give you courtesy for the RPP. I can't give you courtesy for safety. No parking any time is considered a safety violation. I can't give you courtesy for that. If you stay here, I'm going to have to write you a ticket. Let me just give him what he needs. Go ahead. I'm sorry to do that to you, sir, but... I've been here six months, working, fixing up the neighborhood. And every time there's a new one, there's new rules. Since I started this job, I got more than $2,000 worth of parking tickets. She's a lot nicer than some of the other ones. 
Hey, hey, hey. He, he's in that, I'm sorry, he's in that nicer than some of the other ones. I get that a lot. People think I'm a woman because I'm small. Hey, I don't know, I guess I'm used to being around big guys. Even my little guys are big guys compared to that. I don't think I look like a woman or sound like a woman. So I guess because I'm small, I figure that I am. When I was young, that used to bother me, but it doesn't bother me anymore. It used to bother me when I got carded, too. And now I figure it's a compliment. I only have to shave around here. <laughs> That's it. This meter's expired, so I'm going to write him a ticket. Yes, sir. Your meter's expired, sir. You see it's blanking zeros? Yeah, I wasn't sure. I saw the, the sign that said two hours. That's why. Yeah, it means you can put only two hours on into the meter. So I already wrote that ticket. I can't take it back. It's all right. I was in law enforcement, so he's doing what he has to do. I'm sorry, sir. All right. But like I said, I was in law enforcement up in Massachusetts, and we usually would have gone by a meter, looked at it, maybe given him five or 10 minutes. He walked up on it and saw that it was blinking. He just wrote the ticket there. He didn't. He didn't, he didn't give a chance to the, you know, a, a civilian well, that, you know, he could have gone down, checked out the rest of the block, and came back. Well, actually, I came from that port that block. Exactly. You came to it, and you saw it, and you well, wrote it. we're not supposed to give any time, sir. If the meter's expired, we're supposed to You're not to write supposed things. to. No, sir. Okay, so you came right up to it, and you, you, you just right, wrote it see, up. if you would have came up to me before I printed that ticket, I would have gave you a rescission. I understand. You're doing your job. Thank you. Like I said, I would have given, I probably would have walked the whole block and given the person an extra five, 10 minutes and then gave him a ticket. I understand you that. Came, you came over, saw the meter. That's my job. Said, I hear you. I, I, I'm not knocking it. I, I'm just saying that some people will give other people chances, some people don't. I knew when I went for this job that you have to have a bit of a tough exterior. The people are gonna call you things. I guess they figure they can get over on me, you know, because I'm small. What they don't realize is it doesn't bother me. They can call me whatever they want. I just believe you live your life, you do the best you can, you live it the best you can. And if you do that, when you get to heaven, you have a nice house to live in. Good morning, ladies. Hello, hello. hello. <laughs> I like to get to know the neighbors because if they're having a problem, they'll come to you and they'll say to you, you know, this car has been parked here for so many days, or how can I get rid of that dumpster? And you know, you try to help them. I give you this to drop off, somebody drop, drop their wallet. I'm not a policeman. Yeah, hey, but you probably got close to a police. No problem, I'll give it to my supervisor. All right. Actually, when I was a kid, I always wanted to be a cop. At the time, I was too short. But that's what I like about this job. I feel like a sheriff. Are you OK? Are you all right? Okay. All right. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to get the police here for you, OK? And I'm no, no, no. Huh? Yeah, okay, pull over right here. Ma'am, this is unit 283. I'm on the 500 block of South 22nd Street. There's been an accident. She's okay, but she needs police. Okay, ma'am, my dispatcher's going to get in touch with police. They should be here, okay? That's part of our job, too. If we see something like that, or we see someone maybe who's sick or is, you know, falling down, God forbid, you want to call that in. You know, thank God she wasn't hurt. That's the most important thing. How you doing, sir? Yeah, well, they're in front of my garage. I'm going to ask them to move. If they don't, you... All right, I'll take it for them, sir. Right. You may be working here, but you can't block somebody's driveway. Excuse me. Yes, sir. We're doing a job here. I understand that, sir, but you're blocking the driveway. And a gentleman just came out who lives there and asked me to write you a ticket because you're blocking his driveway. He can't we get asked out. him yesterday if it was no. OK for work. Well, he just told me no. My wife's coming home in about like, 20 minutes. All you had to do is ask us. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You're blocking the driveway. You can't, park, well, you can't block a driveway. What's that, man? We're working here. I understand that, sir. Violated. But it's give us a violation. Know, We're working. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not going to fight with a citizen over a ticket. My wife worries about me. She tells stories, you know, about some people getting in fights and things. But, you know, I just tell her, look, I'm not worried about that. I'm not that kind of person. And if it happens, it happens.